This video is going to show two new features in Darkroom Booth 2. One is our Take Photo button, and the other one is the Retake Photo button. So let's go ahead and start a booth session. I'll show you what this looks like. And we basically just click the button to begin. Welcome. We're going to take four And what you'll photos. notice is after we take a photo, you'll see a Retake four, button if you want to three, retake that photo. Two, one. Or if you want to go ahead and speed up taking the next photo once users are ready. I've got about 30 seconds between photos, so I can just hit the Take Photo button, and that'll go right into the countdown. If they decided they want to retake the last photo, they can just click on this button. And again, it's going to wait for a little while, just the way I have the timing set up. You can change that. When I'm ready, I can hit this, and it'll go right into the countdown. And of course, if they want to start over, I can put a start over button right there and it takes them right back. So let's take a quick look at how we set this up. So we go to our screens, we go to edit. I want to turn this to make it a little more manageable and we'll show after the photo is taken. This is what we'll see. So if I double click on my take next photo button, you can see I've given a command to take photo. So this is new in booth two. Take photo and then there's the retake photo or video. And of course on this button I've given it the retake photo video command. And of course this has been in booth for a while but there's also just the cancel session. So if you want to let them um, start over. And that's uh, the take photo and retake photo button in darkroom booth two.